All right, guys, in this vlog, we're going down to Texas to Rounders Card Club in San Antonio to play in a $1,000 entry, 750K guaranteed Parker tournament. I want, I'm, I want to address, I'm sorry I'm holding the microphone like this, even though it clips on because I see all these TikTokers do it and I need, I need them clicks. I'm so desperate, I'm doing a TikTok trend for you guys to so like. If you like the video, enjoy. We might break our cashless streak of tournaments. Spoilers, we might. Pimps. That's my new catchphrase. What up, pimps? We're going to Texas, to Rounders, to San Antonio in a rapid fire weekend. 6.30 a.m. We're playing like three day ones. Well, hopefully only one day one. Let me, let's not get it twisted. But we're getting to San Antonio to Rounders Card Club, invited by the club and our boy, Ben on Drew, fellow ACR team pro. We're gonna play some 1K, 750K guaranteed. We're on a bad streak. Let's avenge the Borgata, not caches. Let's avenge the Triton, not caches. Let's not punt. Let's stay focused. See you soon, pimps. This fucking shot sucks, but we're we're here. Drew and his girlfriend Hannah. But I'm staying with them. I double checked last year. We got 15 for 12,400. First was 200k. Yeah, rounders, 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 rounders. Pay that man his money. Hi, Drew. What a guy. I was expecting you to maybe have a pickup truck, like to have gotten fully Texas. For the vlog, yeah, you want to say something? I mean, it's just for the vlog. We get the high noon reunion. Thanks to Ben on Drew for making it all happen. You know, we're gonna we're gonna have a have a moment here with this love boat. <laughs> Drew with the Hattori Hanzo. We made it to his house. Thank you. And here's Noodles. He knows to be careful around the sword. He knows. <laughs> That's so sick. Mincy's a little tilted because he has a bet. I got BYU plus 1500 money line. It's so fun. <laughs> Who finds this stuff? Oh, yes, it's on a draw. Third and 17. <laughs> you just run, punt. 540 to go. Damn, ball game. Go for it. Quit being bitches. We'll see how this works out. I predict not well. But... And guess what happened? When you punt, it's a 25 point underdog when you're down seven with five minutes to go. Well, they didn't get the ball back. Way to, way to play to win, Thomas Taki. Here we are. Auto zone. I already made that joke. Fuck me. We're with Drew. I thought it was a while. $1,000 entry. 750k guaranteed rounders texas poker championship sitting down with 25 big blinds 50k in our stack at 2k big blind four one of one hopefully we're here right off the rip we win a small guy with ace queen getting value on the river with top pair and then immediately lose what we profited in a flip with our pocket tens versus this dickhead's ace jack we go on to then play pocket eights like shit and now we're down to 30k or 15 big blinds we then go all in with ace nine off And double up. So after all that, we're back still at starting stack. We just got a surprise coffee. We were lurking on break for coffee, and then it just got just like, who's Ryan? Who the fuck is Ryan? You got a coffee for you, paid for. I feel like a cute girl at the bar. With blinds at 1K, 2,500 with a 2,500 big blind ante. Early position raises to 6K. It folds to us in the small blind, and we look down at 9-8 of clubs. We go ahead and call, and we're heads up to a flop. Flop comes. Jack, nine, two, rainbow with no club. But we have middle pair. We check and he bets meaty. He bets 10.5K into the pot of like 15K. And maybe we can fold as an exploit, but I think it's too nitty with middle pair and obviously we can't jam. So we just go ahead and call. Now there's 36K in the pot and only 26K in our stack. But this is life when you're playing short stack tournament poker. The turn comes another Jack, which is good. It makes it less likely he has a Jack now. Um, so we think we very well maybe have the best hand. We check, and then he checks back. The river comes a four or some shit. We check again, hoping he'll check back, and we just win a showdown, but he puts us all in. He jams our 26K. And when he bets big on flop, then checks and bets big again on the river, his hand is sort of face up and hard to find bluffs. Like, he should be scared that we might have a jack and be trapping or that, that you know, think we have a nine a lot and we're going to call. So we eventually find the call. We find out he has kings. We feel Yo, stupid ooh. as shit. We probably punted. Re-entry is now closed on the first flight, so we have to enter the later one, and we're starting nearly from the beginning. Long grind ahead of us. Fast version of this bullet is one that we try to bluff Ebony Kenny with Ace King and a Nut Flush blocker. That failed. And then with around 21 big blinds, we re-jam with pocket sixes, and Billy gives us the option if we want him to call or not. Uh, yeah, with that attitude, yeah. Since I assume we're flipping when you ask like that, I'm like, yeah, thank you, yeah. All right. You lose. 
Ooh. Now we're out. Just gonna regroup and then we're hopping back in in a sec. Two of four bullets down. One was a punt, one, one wasn't. All right, bullet three. Here's the new table. Easy math. We have 50K in chips and the big blind's 1K. One punt, one not punt. Legal THC straight to your doorstep. That feels illegal. Blinds are 600, 1200, 1200. We have 42K in our stack. It folds to us in the cutoff. We look down at pocket threes and we raise it up. The button then three bets us to 7K. It's not really relevant, but this is like the third time he's three bet us. Usually people aren't fucking with you, but this may be relevant here. I don't know. We call them. We can never fold off of 35 big blinds with a baby pocket pair facing a three bet. GTO actually says jam, but fuck that. We're just going to call and try to flop a set. Flop comes. Seven, five, three. Let's fucking go. We check. He bets 7K. And we probably could check raise because there's a flush draw on board, but we decide to just call. You can't really fuck it up when you flop a set. We call. Now there's 31K in the pot, 27K in our stack. Turn comes the eight. We check again. He jams at 27K. And obviously we beat him in the pot calling. He has pocket queens and we hold and get the full double. So we're a little pissed off despite doubling because we've been filming every fucking hand for three bullets and we didn't have our phone out in time to film the double. Great vlogging. Uh, it was the first hand back from break. Either way, we have 86K, all time high. We win a nice little pop blind versus blind with pocket kings. Then we have ace, jack, offsuit, multi-way. Flop comes ace, ace, jack. We win a nice another one. So we have 107K now before the end of this level. Yay. Fast forward two levels later at 1K, 2K, 2K. We three bet with ace three of diamonds, get called by pocket nines, but we turn an ace and win a nice another little guy. 117k in our stack now. Let's see how fellow ACR team pro Drew Gonzalez is doing in the tournament. Not great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blind still, 1K, 2K, 2K. It folds to the small blind. He jams under 20 bigs, maybe 15 bigs, 35K or so. We look down in the big blind at a pocket king and another pocket king. This is a great hand. We go ahead and make the call. What does he have? King deuce of diamonds. So you know the bowl got to be a little bit sweaty. It comes ace, ace, seven with two diamonds. It runs out with two pair on board, and he says, like, oh, sorry for the chop, and I believe him for a second, but uh, it's only because I'm stupid. We actually win. We have 142K in our stack now. Another major hand I miss of footage, like a top-tier fucking vlogger, uh, I describe in the heat of the moment. You can go to the footage right before break. Uh, he opens the cutoff. He had just said 50K, but he was on his phone looking at his stupid family on Facebook or some shit. And uh, he was disinterested, ready to gamble. At three bet, ace jack off to 16K. He put, snap puts in his like 50K, 20, 25 bigs. He's got snap call. He has king four suited. Behold, now we have 189K. Great things happened to great people. <laughs> we win a little guy with eights up to 200K. Lose a little guy with ace queen off, calling two donk leads on a low board down to 173k there's about 49 people left now with 26 getting paid a minimum of two thousand dollars and 21 making it to day two which is the goal with blinds at 3k 6k with a 6k big blind annie middle position has jammed for 34k or six big blinds it folds to the small blind who has a stack of around 150k or 25 big blinds we cover him by about 50k so off of his stack depth he really should go all in or fold mostly. But Honey Badger don't give a shit. He don't even give a shit about legal raise sizes, actually. So the small blind decides to raise it from 34K to 54K. But the dealer corrects him and makes it 63K, which is the actual minimum. This is all fucked up and confusing. But the point is, it's such a weird play. For him to just, like, min raise off of his stack when he only has 25 bigs is, is really such a weird play. He's isolated one third of his stack, leaving himself 90K behind. Anyway, what do we have? We're in the big blind and we look down at pocket sevens and I don't know what the fuck to think. We're kind of nearing the bubble. The tension is more real in live poker than online when you're nearing the bubble. Is this the nuts? Is this some nonsense? But then instead of hand reading, I reason the motherfucking following. One, if he were trapping with aces or kings, he probably would just call the shorter all in, inducing me to possibly bluff. Two, if I jam and get called by him, it's only 25 big blinds with pocket sevens, which in itself is fine three if he ever 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 folds after doing this we're printing so all these make it a slam dunk jam it normally wouldn't even be this big of a decision but since we're approaching the bubble and it was so wacky i just had to turn my brain on 
we go ahead and jam our sevens, and much to our joy, the small blind folds. We now cannot lose this pot no matter what. We've already broken even by getting him to fold, but let's go for it all. What are we up against? Ace, queen off. Go to the footage, let's win a fucking flip. Hell chair! 300k in our stack with 40 people left and we got 50 big blinds. We win another little juicer with aces after getting a flop call. 326k in our stack feeling cocky and in control. But like Scotty Wynn when he forgets to buy alcohol for the morning, we obviously have to fuck ourselves a little bit. So with 33 people left or so, the bubble tension is real. With blinds at 4k, 8k, 8k. It folds to us on the button and we look down at 10-2 of spades. This is a fold, but we raise, uh, mostly because the big blind is very recreational and we think that we can put bubble pressure on him. We would later find out that he plays like 2550 normally and while he does in fact seem to not be very good at poker, I could not have been more wrong about any bubble pressure whatsoever, so big error already. So we go ahead and raise to 1600 on 16,000 on the button. Uh, he defends, we're heads up to a flop, becomes ace, king, six, with one spade. He checks, we bet 12k, he calls, turn comes another king. Uh, he checks, we check back, now the river comes, another six. So, he has a lot of sixes, kings, or aces in his flop check call range. The hands that are beating us, like queen high and shit like that, uh, jack high that we need to bluff out, we can get rid of for very cheap, but we probably shouldn't even bluff here. So either cheap bet or bl or not bluff would be great, but no, we go ahead and bet 45k like a fucking monkey. And uh, he eventually tank calls with ace deuce. We're pretty fucking furious at ourselves uh, for the entire hand when we should have just folded pre. We have now 268k in our stack, feeling dumb as fuck. Blinds are up to 5k, 10k, 10k. After I punted so much to him in that 10 deuce hand, if I don't cash, you guys are gonna have a fucking suicide on your hands because I'm ki killing myself. There'll be blood on all of your guys' hands. L F G G G G G G. We have cashed, we've averted suicide, and now we are guaranteed a profit of at least negative 1k after the three bullets. Our next goal is to make it from the final 26 to the final 21 to bag and tag and come back for day two. We go Joey mode and get card dead for a while for the next couple orbits, and by the next break, we're back down to 206k. We averted suicide. We made the money. So 26 left. Now we gotta get to 21 to uh, make day two. Attention by a homie that we missed. A giant dog of the vlog. What an Australian Shepherd. They're maniacs. Dogs of the vlog. An Australian Shepherd. If you're dumb enough to not have an iPhone or broke, and then you justify it, you can play on the ACR app. You sign up co-gambler, but uh, they all do the same shit, it just helps me. With blinds at 6k, 12k, with a 12k big blind Annie, 206k in our stack. Early position has opened to 25k. It folds to us on the button, and we look down at King Jack offsuit. We're off 17 bigs, we really don't know what to do. We're not debating raising, but deciding whether or not we get to call and try to take a flop or not. Normally, this is generally a fold, but there's a dead small blind this hand, which is relevant because if we flat here, there are half as many people behind us who could wake up with a monster. So, because of the dead small blind and, and being in position, it's a unique scenario, uh, we decide we can go ahead and call. Maybe a little loose, whatever. The big blind calls as well, and we're three ways to a flop. 87k in the middle, 179k in our stack. We're in the money, but we want a good stack and go into day two. Flop comes. King, Jack, five, rainbow, very fucking good. The big blind checks, early position, bets 30K, and now it's on us. It, players, like I said in the hand, are a little bit recreational, so we do a little bit performance, hemming and hawing, before deciding to make the call for 30K. The big blind folds. There's 147K in the pot, 145K in our stack. The turn comes, doesn't fucking matter what the turn comes. He puts us all in, we snap call, he has king, queen off, Go to the footage. We hold, get the double. We have our peak stack of 415K at the end of the day, hand for hand, one player away from our goal of bagging and making day two. Shortly after, someone at our table gets absolutely fucked and we have made day two. I'll show, which I'll show you next time. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please fucking subscribe. Thanks for watching, pussies. See you next time.
Now, he doesn't deserve any applause. He called with King Jack.